This is one chapter of the 12, separated and posted. It was taken from my main one hour and a half tutorial, hyphen documentary video, to make it easier for crafters to use. If you don't mind watching the whole thing, then click on the link in the description and the pinned comment. Chapter 1. Introduction and Memo. It's a completely upgraded crafting tutorial. Capítulo primero. Introducción y memorandum. El tutorial de artesanía completamente actualizado. Before getting into the crafting tutorial, some introductions are in order. This is my original recipe. It's a bamboo bundle shirt bow for my advanced Native American archery style. A guerrilla speed shooting style that belongs to my Hawk combat system. If you're an older viewer of my videos, then you're already aware of what I'm talking about. If not, then welcome first of all, and let me brief you about this style. It would be best if you could watch first three of my previous uploads. I'll put the links in the description and the top comment. This style recreates the lost Southern Plains Indians shirt bow combat. Although the recipe does not use traditional materials at all, it still holds the same logic behind the old art. Modern world, modern problems, it requires a modern mindset. The essence of the art has always been about making the best of what is available around you, and so did I. Improvise, adapt and overcome. Plus the actual function, shape and skills used are traditional. Let's call it synthetic traditional so we can move on. After crafting this type of bow over 10 years, I can finally say proudly that I have mastered this recipe. The basic material of this bow is bamboo, and this material is really interesting. There are things that can work with it, and other things that simply cannot. For example, strangely you can't reach a higher drawing poundage than 30 with bamboo. I am confident to claim that I have found the optimal way to reach the best performance out of bamboo. So, even if it is 30 pounds, it acts as much more. And that is the essence of it. Is it to draw and use while it hits way stronger than what it looks like. It's the pistol of bows. As we get into the tutorial, it may seem like a complex process, but together, step by step, we will craft it. Once you understand the logic and science behind it, then it will become very easy to craft. This is a very detailed video, and it won't leave any questions unanswered. My bow is designed with a special forces mindset. I developed it over the years for the purpose of having it used within the military if such a survival need arises. Some teams have already adopted this art in their training. I'm using very simple and common materials that can be found in urban locations anywhere in the world. So even if you get stranded in a hostile environment, you're not completely unarmed. You can make it very fast if you follow each step correctly. You might ask, why don't you simply make a traditional wooden bow? And they will answer. If you have proper wood to use, then go for it. But it's not so easy to craft a proper wooden bow under pressure. Plus, in so many places and big cities, it might become impossible to find proper types of wood. But let us review this bow to explain some extra details about it. It is completely waterproof and floats on water, so it can't get lost by sinking. It can get dry with only a shake. Because of its many smart features, it doesn't get slippery at all, even if it gets wet. It's very resistant against heat, thanks to its smart combination of coatings. The entire bow weighs practically nothing. It does not add up with the rest of your equipment, and that is extremely important if you have to walk long distances with your rucksack. Its two ends are nothing like other bows, so they can be used as a walking stick. Any directly vertical impact gets absorbed. Bamboo works like bones. It's made of compressed straight fibers. The shaft is durable enough to be used as a melee weapon. Its short size helps you maneuver around easily. Even inside buildings, this can certainly come in handy. Its draw weight is barely 30 pounds and yet it shoots the arrows like lightnings far away. And you can't say that they are weak, especially if you use proper sharpened broadheads. The shape of this bow helps you use a short draw length to shoot. It sends powerful missiles with the ability of rapid shooting techniques with a minimum amount of movements. Ideal in case you get trapped in a small space. Even the way of stringing it is different than normal. Everything is designed for speed and for using it without needing to look at it. You can feel with your touch where everything is located. That is why in my recipe I'm using personalized measurements. I'm using my own body parts to measure lengths. So by nature, 
when I try to reach for my handle or the string, everything is right there, even if I don't search for them with my eyes. The arrows follow the same principles as the bow. I process each bamboo shaft to strengthen and shield it against all elements and any damage. For an arrow tip, I'm using steel screws for woodwork. The way I secure them on the arrows makes them so durable that you can aim even at rocks with full force and they will never break. The screw shape in the front also helps you quickly retrieve them from penetrated hard materials like wood. You can simply unscrew them without the need of pliers. Their backsides are knockless, so they can't even be used against you by enemy archers who do not use the same arrow handling technique. But they're not entirely bare. Its anti-slip shape and design helps you hold them in place and let them fly away full force without hitting your bow on their way out. The fletching is also another smart idea I came up with. It completely erases the need to find feathers. Now you can have extremely accurate arrows with a waterproof fletching that doesn't rip off by constant use or if they get pulled. Now that I have your attention, let's begin with the tutorial. Well, to be precise with all the needed details, I must first help you understand my logic behind this recipe. With a combination of real-life footage and animations, we will fully analyze the process and what to watch out for. First, we will focus on the bow before moving on to the arrows.